Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's recipe is another recipe for our game day recipe series. This one is super simple to make. I almost feel silly even adding it to this recipe series, but it's a recipe that we've been making for years. Anytime that we have game day parties at our house and our friends and family just love them. Today's recipe that we're gonna make is easy crock pot meatballs. There's only three ingredients total. Um, they're super simple to make ahead of time. You can transfer them easy if you're bringing an appetizer to someone else's house. Um, and they're easy to just sit on the counter as you're watching the game. So let's get started. So today I'm gonna use frozen chicken meatballs. We love chicken meatballs in our house. If you want more of a traditional style meatball, um, you can also use the Italian style meatballs, or if you have a homemade recipe that you love, you can use that for this recipe as well. Um, just to make things a little bit easier, I'm just gonna make the frozen batch today. So along with the meatballs, you're also gonna add two more ingredients to this recipe, and that are these two ingredients right here. The first is grape jelly. I know that sounds a little bit weird to add grape jelly with meatballs, but it's so delicious. The second ingredient is barbecue sauce. I like to use this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce for this recipe. The two together, they make a wonderful glaze over the meatballs, and it turns out so delicious. So I add the meatballs to the crock pot first, and then I pour over the meatballs, the barbecue sauce and the grape jelly and mix them all together. When you mix together the barbecue sauce and grape jelly with the meatballs, make sure you mix it really good to make sure the whole mixture is mixed well. You could even mix the grape jelly and the barbecue sauce in a separate dish beforehand, so that's already mixed together, but I hate wasting a second dish, so I just add it all into the crock pot at once. You can kind of also play with the amount of barbecue sauce and the grape jelly to see which you like more of or less of, depending on the sweetness that you prefer. All right, so I've been cooking these meatballs for about two, two and a half hours on high. You can also cook them on low for about four, four to five hours. Um, if you're in a hurry, if you wanna get them heated pretty fast, you can go ahead and do the high. Once I have heated the meatballs up all the way, then I'll just leave it on warm um, during the party for when everyone is here and they can eat them, um, pick them out with a toothpick. Um, but for now, I'll go ahead and turn this off while I stir it up. So the jelly actually melts down and kind of turns, let me scoot this forward a little bit. I can see a little better. Um, the jelly kind of melts down and kind of turns into this liquid glaze. Um, and it's so good as a sauce on the meatballs mixed with the barbecue sauce. So these are looking really good. Um, normally I'd like just cut into one to make sure if I'm doing, cooking them from frozen, make sure that they're cooked all the way through. You can have some toothpicks nearby. Um, I've seen ones that have the little um, flags or like a football. Um, these I just wrote with like a chalk pen, you know, different things, go team, game day, um, and have those out for your guests to pick and eat. Don't forget, if you love this recipe, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel down below so you don't miss any of our upcoming recipe videos. If you want more details on how to make this recipe and a printable recipe card, you can go to the link, I'll link it up above or in the description box below. If you have any questions about making this recipe, please leave me a comment and I'll answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching.